to go for tonight's first battle. Let's go upstairs. Our ring announcer, Chuck Matheson. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Coeur Lane Tribal Bingo Casino's House of Fury for tonight's heavyweight explosion. The heavyweight explosion is a presentation of Corona Extra and Coeur Lane Tribal Bingo Casino. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big Coeur Lane Tribal Bingo Casino welcome to Sam Smith and John Saracino and the television audience watching on the Cedric Kushner Sports Network. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sam. our first bout tonight is our first co-featured event, 10 rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. When the bell rings, referee Jerry Armstrong will be in charge of the action. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks, and weighing in at 235 pounds. His professional record, 19 wins, five losses, two draws. 15 of those wins are by way of knockout. From Virginia Beach, Virginia, Sam the Hammer Hampton! Across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks with the gold trim, and weighing in at 228 pounds. His professional record, 16 wins, two losses, 14 of those wins are by way of knockout from Boston, Massachusetts, Josh, the Prince of Power in Martin! Early today, the thing I ask is you to obey my instructions at all times. When I say break, I want you to stop punching, keep your hands up, take one step back, okay? Any questions, guys? Okay, good luck to both. Shake hands. Jerry Armstrong, a third man of the ring from nearby Boise, Boise, Idaho. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape, and you can see a slight height advantage for him, Marty, but the reach advantage will be almost the same, but that'll probably not have any factor on this one tonight, John. They are right in front of each other. Rules on tonight here in Idaho. Ten-point must system by three judges. No three knockdown rule. No standing eight count. Saved by the bell only in the last round only. Those are the rules as governed here by the Boxing Commission of Idaho. Good look at him, Marty. He gets ready to come out, trying to improve his 16-2 record, while Sam Hampton gets ready to go out at 19-5 and 2. Let's go. Start the round. Round number one. Heavyweight explosion and a good one here. John Saracino, as we talked before the fight is over, and of course uh, before the game, we could certainly see ourselves maybe not a classic, certainly, but a, a very, very well fought fight tonight. Well, I think you're going to see a little bit of caution early in this fight, but then I think you're going to see both fighters really go at it. And I think Amarty's corner wants him to use some of his boxing skills and not necessarily brawl. And you see him pot shotting with right hands right away, hitting Hampton. And Sam, of course, coming right back. Tough guy, former college football player and barroom bouncer. <laughs> he is a tough guy and a nice guy, too. Soft spoken. He's 30 years old. He, he would like to get ranked someday in the top 10. He realizes that's going to be an uphill struggle. He just likes competing. Football was his first love, and he, he found his second love, and that's professional boxing. Well, he found that uh, just after he won the 1991 Tough Man Award in the state of Oklahoma. And after that, somebody enticed him to get into the ring as a pro boxer, and of course, the rest now is history turning pro in May of 1992. Hampton again, 19-5-2 with 15 wins by a knockout. We've already seen a couple of rocking punches on both sides here. And we see a little bit of redness and swelling already developing along the forehead of Hampton. And you saw him before the fight, Sam, standing in his corner. He told me last night that before the fight, he feels like his heart's going to blow out of his chest. He gets so nervous and anticipating a the fight. There's an uppercut on the inside by Amarty. Sam shook that off. Amarty, of course, had a little bit of formal uh, amateur career. Of course, he did represent in 1988 his native country of Nigeria in the Seoul Olympics, 43 and 2. And of course, he cut off a couple of years of his career coming to the United States to relocate. And of course, now starting to regroup himself, turning pro in January of 1992 in the Boston area. Prince of Power. You got to love that nickname, huh? He's definitely a power puncher. And there's one right there. Sam Hampton again taking a chopping right. Oh, and he's, he's hurt. Sam Hampton's in real trouble. 
He's going to have to struggle to get up here as Jerry Armstrong will have to make a good count here. Sam Hampton answering all the questions. Sam better know how to grab because I don't think I think he's still wobbly. 37 seconds to go before the round is over. Cannot be saved by the bell and Hampton is almost out again. He's got to hold him Sam but the problem is at this point he's, he's still fuzzy. And he's got to try to beat the clock with 20 seconds remaining in the first round. Can Hampton get out of this? A hey, Marty again with a couple of solid punches. This is turning into just the fight we thought it would. We talked about it in the opening. These two guys are going to stand toe to toe and Marty just teeing off and he can't even protect himself and a good stoppage. The fight is over as Sam Hampton just wanted to wait for the bell and Jerry Armstrong since he was not being defended by himself. Armstrong steps in atop the fight here at the near the end had to be at the 258 or 59 mark of the first period and Josh A. Marty gets his 15th knockout and I would imagine to a lot of people a pretty good surprise even though both possess the big knockout punch. You're going to see the first knockdown here in the first round. That right hand landing he missed with the uppercut. But the chopping right hand right on the kisser and you see Hampton holding him himself up along the ropes. And here where he, Hampton was really unable to defend himself. Wild shots by Amarty got a little bit excited. There was the first right hand, the second right hand. There's a third and a fourth. And I don't think the referee could do anything but stop the fight because Hampton was totally defenseless. A good stoppage by the referee. Another look at all of those punches again. Hampton, you can see he's still almost out on his feet. Slumps against the rope. He's only a few feet away from his red corner. And I really believe he was just waiting for the bell to sound to get in the corner, but he did not defend himself well enough, and Jerry Armstrong wisely stopped the fight. So Josh Marty has already, already donned his celebration hat here as he gets his 15th knockout and his 17th win. And Chuck Matheson has the official time of the knockout. Let's head upstairs to our ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the official results. The referee stopped the fight at two minutes, 59 seconds of the first round. The winner by technical knockout, Josh Imadre! So Josh Imarty out of Boston, Massachusetts, a native of Nigeria, goes 17 2 0 and getting his 15th win by knockout. By the way, one of the illustrious family of boxers, Tony Petronelli, working in the corner as the manager and the trainer for Josh Imarty. Well, let's head upstairs as our good colleague, John Saracino, has Imarty. Let's go upstairs to John. Okay, Josh. That was an easy fight. You think it'd be that simple? I know it's going to be simple because I really prepare for the fight. I don't really prepare for the fight. Now, obviously, the chopping right hands, they were there all in the first round. I mean, would you, were you expecting him to defend himself a little bit better? Actually, I thought it was going to be, you know, I know it was going to come hard to me, though, because my trainer told me just take my time. Because I used to, you know, my first round, I used to come out and start, you know, winging. But I took my time, listened to what my trainer told me. You know, it's easy. A couple of times you got excited when you had him hurt and I saw you getting ready to throw a punch and you kind of stopped yourself so you would have good balance and get in position for the next punch. Did you have to catch yourself there a couple of times? Of course, yeah. Uh, like I said earlier, I saw the opening right there, but I wasn't really balanced. So I tried to take my time, you know. No, I wonder I was going to cut from the left to nice hook. Actually, I got power on both hands. Now, Josh, you're almost 35 years old. Uh, well, you're, you're really 30. Okay, your records show 35, almost 35. But in any event, what is your goal right now? I mean, you got to move kind of quickly. You can't afford to waste too much time, can you? That's true. You're right. Last year, my manager has to come in. He knows what's best for me. When the set, go ahead. Then I, you know. Right, let's bring in Tony Petronelli now. Of course, everybody knows the Petronelli name. And Tony, let's talk about what happened here in that first round as, as we watch it on tape. Well, I, I knew this guy carried his left hand long. He was going to come at my guy, Josh. And I told him that the right hand is going to catch him. So take your time. Don't get over excited because this, you won't have to look for this guy. He's, you know, not the hottest guy in the world to hit. So uh, we just take one round at a time. If it goes enough for us, run it goes. And if it don't, we'll just we'll be here for 10 rounds. Now, Josh hasn't been the most active fighter the last year. He's only had a couple of fights. You want to see him get more and more action? Yeah. I, now that I'm with, I'm with um, Kushner and everything, I think they'll get me the fight. So it was, it was tough. Josh. Josh is a dangerous guy, and they're not knocking the doors down to get at him, and uh, uh, a lot of guys are ducking him. 
So uh, hopefully now we'll get, we'll get ourselves going. Josh, a clean living guy, takes care of himself, doesn't abuse himself, always in shape. What's the kind of fighter you'd have like to fight next? I know last night you told me Jeremy Williams would be a guy you'd want to get. No, no problem, no problem. Sure, Jeremy, uh, just bring him on.